Since the 1st of December, in just two months, more than 520,000 people have been displaced from their homes, the vast majority of them uh, being women and children. There are no safe places in Idlib. Bombs fall everywhere and anywhere. Even those fleeing the frontline areas are not safe, and there's just a sea of people moving in all directions as the airstrikes and shelling has continued throughout the last two months. The biggest challenge right now is shelter. Thousands of people are crammed into schools, mosques, and so on. Many are in tents in the mud, exposed to wind, rain, and freezing weather. From the 20th to the 30th January, so those are the, late, the latest period of time, those 10 days, the UN Human Rights Office monitoring verified incidents in which at least, at least 83 civilians, including 20 women and 33 children, were killed and tens of other civilians injured due to airstrikes and ground-based strikes. The United Nations Special Envoy for Syria, Mr. Gare O. Pedersen, is alarmed by the continued and further escalation of violence in Syria's northwest. The consequences are devastating. The price that the civilian population is paying is too high. Hundreds of thousands of civilians are now displaced and their numbers continue to swell, with the most vulnerable, such as women, children, and the elderly, especially affected.